I cannot stand watching conservatives, like Kevin McCarthy was doing it this weekend, soon to be Speaker of the House, talking about how this is about the First Amendment. Joe Biden was not an elected office. He was a candidate. And what his team, according to the Matt Taibbi files, and I think it's in tweet 10 where we're talking about this, what they wanted taken down, the links that he provided, were pictures of his son's penis. Why did he not tell us what the actual government was asking to have taken down when you're telling us what Joe Biden's team asked to be taken down? And by the way, that's a violation of the terms of service. That's not even a favor. That's someone pinging someone at Twitter and saying, hey, this is revenge Wait, porn. Say, Fox News host Jessica Tarlov went off on conservative lawmakers for absolving the Trump administration of the same criticism they're giving Hunter Biden. For one, the tidbit of information released doesn't indicate much of anything other than the fact that the Trump White House is guilty of doing the exact same thing as the Biden campaign. Within the first eight days of the story being out in the wild, there was an article about it on Facebook that had 54 million views. That's a lot of views. Yeah. It was dominating the discourse. Now, you tell me as a parent, there are parents at the table, people have run for office. Mm -hmm. If God so for it wasn't about the 10% for the big guy. No, well, it wasn't. Then show me the link about right. that. But the link that I saw was about Hunter Biden's junk. Well, that's really pathetic. Not. No, yes, really. And that does matter. This is not about the First Amendment. And then he also it said. Don't hide behind his junk. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how big it is. How good <laughs> right. um, big wait, guy. Can I just say something, though? Taibbi also admitted that the Trump campaign asked for content moderation. Yes. And then he left those links out. Why did he not tell us what the actual government was asking to have taken down when you're telling us what Joe Biden's team asked to be taken down? And by the way, that's a violation of the terms of service. We see this as a, a, an interesting or a coincidence, if I may, that, uh, uh, that he would so haphazardly, uh, Twitter would so haphazardly push this distraction. Uh, that is a that is a full of uh, old news, if you think about it. Um, and uh, at the same time, Twitter is facing very real and very serious questions uh, about the rising volume of anger, hate, and anti-Semitism on their platform, and uh, how they're letting it happen. And uh, you know, the president said last week, more leaders need to speak out and reject this. And uh, it's a very alarming and very dangerous. And But our focus right now is helping the American families. I just talked about what the president is going to be doing in Arizona, talking about the Chips and Science Act, talking about how we're bringing manufacturing jobs back here to the U.S., talking about under this administration, more than 700,000 jobs uh, have been created uh, in, in manufacturing jobs, to be more specific. Look, what is happening, it's, it's not, it's, it's frankly, it's not healthy. It won't do anything to help a single American improve their lives. And so so look, this isn't. We we see this that is an interesting, uh, you know, cons, uh, you know, coincidence, uh, and uh, we, and you know, it's a distraction.